Gute! In this tutorial I will show you how you set up Piper, a high quality, locally running and fast working text to speech engine on your Raspberry Pi. Piper is brought to us by that, um, what's the attribute I'm looking for? Mastermind when it comes to high class text to speech on small compute devices. And this is Michael Sunestian Hansen. And by the way, he's the guy who already brought us Larynx as part of the Raspi project. If you do not know Raspi, I will put a link to a video playlist I've made on Raspi in the description box below. Then he provided us with Mimic version 3 by Mycroft AI. And now next level with Piper. And this should be all for the introduction and now let's go. Let's start by taking a look to the GitHub page of the Piper project inside Raspi. And as you can see, it's a fast locally running neural text-to-speech system that's sounding great and is optimized for Raspberry Pi 4. In my testing setup, I'm going to use a Raspberry Pi version 3 because I do not have a Raspberry Pi 4. And one of the goals of Piper is to support Home Assistant, a famous smart home software, for the efforts of their year of voice. This means you can run Piper standalone or you can really easy integrate it in your Home Assistant installation with newer Home Assistant releases. Multiple languages are supported and there are download files available for Linux based desktop computers and Raspberry Pi. First step is to connect to the Raspberry Pi using SSH and let's see our CPU info. And as I've mentioned, I'm going to use a Raspberry Pi 3 model B in revision 1.2. I'm inside my user home directory. Let's create a new subfolder called Piper. Change into that one and download Piper. So copy the download link from the readme. And once it is downloaded, let's unzip it. And now we have a subfolder called Piper with the Piper executable in it. And what's next? We need to download one of the available international text-to-speech models. So let's go back to the README, click download a voice from the release page and choose one for your language and your preferred model. I will choose randomly one English-based voice. So let's use Kathleen, for example, copy download link and again, let's download and unzip the voice model. And that's all for the preparation. Now let's go back to the README and see how it's used. Piper takes the text to be synthesized from standard input so that's pretty straightforward. Let's copy it. So we are printing the text Welcome to the World of Speech Synthesis. Pipe it to the Piper process and take the model name as input, the US Kathleen based model, and save output to Welcome WAF. And as you can see, it synthesized pretty fast. Piper generated the output audio with a duration of over two seconds in around 1.5 seconds. So this means a real-time factor, an RTF value less than one, so faster than real-time. And now let's see our welcome WAF attributes. So it's a WAV file audio with these attributes. And now it's time to listen to welcome WAV. So for that, I'm connected to my Raspberry Pi using WinSCP. Let's go into Piper directory and here we have the welcome WAV file. So let's listen to it. Welcome to the world of speech synthesis. And as I've said, it has a really nice, decent quality, especially if you have in mind it's synthesized in faster than real time on a small compute device like a Raspberry Pi 3 in my case. And that's all. If you liked that video, please give it a thumb up, subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And if you like, 
We might see us next time. Bye.